One of the reasons why calisthenics is so amazing as a training method is that it doesn't require almost any gear. However, having training equipment allows you to do much more exercises and makes your workouts far more comprehensive. I have collected a lot of equipment throughout the years and I'd like to show it to you and share my thoughts on each piece. This is simply the best piece of equipment you can get, as far as I'm concerned. I'm not going to repeat myself though, I made a whole video about the rings, which I suggest you to see if you haven't. Anyway, I bought my rings long time ago and they still are my favorites. That's why I put them first on the list. On some level, they substitute for parallel bars, push-up bars, up wheel, pull-up bar and probably a lot more. If you have to choose one thing you'll get, that's the way to go. Push-up bars are pretty much self-explanatory, they are used to do push-ups. They let you go deeper and thus increase the range of motion. They also alternate the grip and supporting your body this way puts less stress on your wrists. You can also do different push-up like exercises and handstands, although I personally find these bars not very convenient for handstand workouts. The bars are too narrow to be comfortable. Sometimes there is also a stability issue, especially if you're a beginner. These are actually very similar to push-up bars, but are superior to them. I made them myself and have fixed all the issues the push-up bars have had. They have wider and longer bars and are more stable. This makes them more suitable for handstand training. I recommend making them on your own, as it's easy, cheap, and the final product is often better than the store-bought one. It is probably the most obvious thing to get when starting bodyweight training. It can be used for pull-ups, levers and much more. The doorway bar needs specific door frame to work, but allows you to mount it on any height. This way, you can use it for a wide range of exercises. Having two bars lets you do even more. Human flag, for example. At some point, basic exercises get too easy for you and you'd like to make it more difficult. Weight vest is very easy and convenient way to do so. It's very comfortable and can be used for numerous exercises. I use it mostly for basic ones like pull-ups, push-ups and dips. 10 kg vest is the most useful one in my opinion. I've used heavier ones and vests over 10 kg tend to get clunky and not very comfortable. This is yet another way of adding weight and increasing difficulty of an exercise. I use them mostly for ab workouts, toes to bars and L-seats in particular. However, they can also successfully be used in addition to weight vest for pull-ups or dips. This is another piece of equipment I made myself. Few years back I was very focused on getting the iron cross skill. I saw them on the internet and replicated it as well as I could. They are great for developing strength needed for the iron cross very steadily. You can adjust difficulty by changing the support point. They can also be used for practicing other high level gymnastic skills like planche, Maltese and more. One of my favorite ways to warm up is skipping a rope. It raises temperature of the body and prepares your joints for a more intense workout.
App wheel rollouts are a great exercise that can build your apps, but also helps with static holds like Dragon Flag or Front Lever. However, using App wheel isn't the only way to do this exercise. You can use rings as well. That's why I'm not the biggest fan of the wheel. And last but not least, handstand canes, which again, I made myself. As the name implies, they are intended mostly for handstands, but can be used for a lot more. Besides handstand work, I use them mostly to do dips inside the apartment. As you can see, there is a lot of equipment to choose from for calisthenics, but again, you don't need anything at all to start training. Most of the gear I own is intended for very specific and often advanced goals. Despite having such an extensive collection, I still do the majority of my workouts without any equipment. Tell me in the comments below if you use any training gear that I didn't mention. See you next time!